Horse lovers, the color test results are in for Miss Esmeralda. And while some of it is obvious, some of it is also very, very interesting. Now, just to be clear, this is not her DNA ancestry results. So this isn't gonna give us any breed indicators, but this is gonna tell us what her true base color is and a clue to what she'll be when she sheds out. No matter what, you're gonna be beautiful. We love you. Okay, so I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Here are the results. Now, I am not a color genetics expert by any means, but obviously I've been doing research. And then of course I confirmed with friends who are experts and breed and they're very familiar with colors and genetics. <laughs> I know you love scratchy. You're such a good girl. So the test results for color are 100% accurate, unless obviously they made a mistake during the testing, which is unlikely. Obviously it happens, but I think this is pretty dead on. But anyways, these are not guesswork, okay? The DNA ancestry with the breeds can be guesswork, but this is accurate. So Ezzy's true base color is buckskin. So she is a buckskin. However, she is buckskin because she has the bay gene and then she also has cream, which is really interesting because Belle, her DNA ancestry came back as American cream draft. So that could honestly be a possibility, which would be crazy, but obviously other horses carry the cream gene as well. So yes, Ezzy is a buckskin. However, she has other variants within her color genetics. Now to explain more about Ezzy's base color, this is exactly what it means. So I'm gonna put the description up and read it. You can pause and read here a little bit more about the buckskin color. Now, of course, her base color is not actually buckskin, but it is buckskin because it's a combination of the bay and the cream. So reading this, it makes a lot more sense. And I think this is very interesting as well. We now also know that Ezzy is not a dun because of the genetic marker on there. So a lot of people get duns and buckskins mixed up. There's all types of different conversations about that. However, she is a true buckskin base color based on her results, which again are accurate, but she doesn't have the primitive dun markings, okay? So we have a few more things to talk about with her genetic color test. Now, the real question is, her true base color is buckskin, but what color is she gonna shed out to be? Well, it's honestly pretty obvious. So Ezzy carries a gray variant as well. And as you can see, even though Belle is dirty right now, Belle looks like a little buckskin kinda. <laughs> Just kidding. But because obviously Belle is gray, most likely Ezzy is gonna gray out. And she's showing total signs of graying out. Her undercoat is gray. She has the goggles around her eyes. So we're gonna look at her a little closer. Ezzy, we want to see your face. Let's see it. Can we see your face? You see her gray goggles? She's, she's gray now, and they're even bigger than previous. But she still has her dorsal stripe, which is cool, but that could fade. And then if we look at her undercoat, you can see it's graying out. And you can see her little muzzle is shedding out too. She has even bigger gray goggles. <laughs> And then she's shedding out gray here. Whoa, good girl. You can see her butt is gray and she's lightening up a little bit, but her eyes are still blue. Now they are darkening a little bit and they could stay, but we don't know. Ezzy is definitely very independent, bold, and curious. She'll go off and do her own thing. She doesn't have to be right next to her mama at all times, and she just loves to explore. So I think all of these are really good signs that she's extremely intelligent and that she's gonna be very willing when it comes time to train. And she also can be spunky and fun. But the other interesting part when it comes to Ezzy's genetic color test 
is that she has a dominant white gene as well. So interesting. That's what gives Ezzy her white markings. So it's pretty interesting. And sometimes that variant can cause their eyes to stay blue and they can turn completely white when they're older. So it's safe to say that Ezzy is a buckskin going gray and or white. It'll be interesting though to see how she sheds out and how quick she goes gray or white and if her eyes will stay that blue color. I have no idea what's going to happen and I do not care either way. I don't care what color she is. I just love her confirmation and how she's built her personality. That's what matters to me. Plus she's happy, healthy, and sound. Now I'm gonna explain her genetic markers in depth more and put them up on the screen. That way you can actually read and see that and we'll talk about it. Again, you can pause and read here, but essentially we were just talking about her gray. So it says possibility of going gray, but she's already showing signs like we talked about earlier. So she definitely will go gray. So all gray horses have the possibility of getting melanomas. I've owned gray horses in the past and I've never had a problem. It's just something to be conscientious of. And then we discussed the dominant white. I thought that was really interesting that she had that. And if she was ever bred, which that is not my plans per se, but she has a 50% chance of passing that in the gray gene to her offspring. And then we have the cream gene, which is a partial dominant and can dilute the base coat color, AKA the bay. That's why she is a buckskin. Also has a 50% chance of passing this to her offspring too. So it's gonna be very fascinating to see what her actual DNA breed ancestry results are. Again, those aren't 100% accurate like the coat color, but given Ezzy's unique situation, as in we don't know much about her sire or even 100% about Belle, I think it makes sense to go off the DNA results as much as possible. So with all of that being said, I want to try and register Ezzy. I personally don't care about papers, but it would just be nice to have papers on her just in case something were to ever happen to me or if I was to sell her, whatever the case may be, it'd be nice to have some record on her. You know what I mean? So I can't register her buckskin, which is kind of ridiculous because her true base color is buckskin, but because she has a gray variant and is showing signs of graying out, I can't register her buckskin. So that kind of sucks. However, I think I can register her as a solid pinto. So we're going to be working on that and I'm going to do it in the next month or two just because then she'll have some record on her and I just think it's important considering the situation. And I'm sure you're wondering about the DNA results. So I did a very comprehensive panel and it takes several weeks to get the results back. However, the color test is separate, so that's why we got those already. So once I get the DNA test results from her ancestry and her potential breeds, then I will definitely let you know that one is gonna be fascinating. With the color test though, it did say that she is not gated, so she doesn't carry any type of variants that would show that she's a gated horse. So obviously we knew she wasn't gated just based on how she moves, but she doesn't have any of that in her markers as of now. Either way, you are a gorgeous girl, just like your mom. And I think you're an amazing filly. She rub like it's morning, so she'll rub and roll in the dew on all of the plants and the grass. So it's so funny. It looks like she's wet from the dew. One thing about Ezzy though, is this girl is thick, okay? She's a month and a half old right now, and she is gonna be big, big boned. I'm guessing she'll probably be around Belle's height, give or take, so she's not gonna be like gargantuan huge, like 18 hands or something. Belle is a hair under 16 too, but this girl's thick. Like her hind quarter, she's kind of on a hill right now. But like, look at her hocks, her knees, her hind quarter. Yes, we're talking about you. <laughs> That's a nice stance. Good posture there. Um, but she's just big. I mean, she's beautiful. She's filling out wonderfully. Belle's a big girl too. Yes. You're going to be so gorgeous when you're grown up. You already are. You already are. Yes. And her tail's grown a ton too. So pretty. You're such a sweet girl. Well, I want to give you a bath. Hello. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl.
Well, horse lovers, I really hope you enjoyed hearing about Ezzy's test results. We're definitely excited. I love her so much. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. Don't bite me. <laughs> so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with Ezzy and Belle or the other horses. And I'll see you next time. Bye.